Welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be showing you guys how I do a cute simple braided updo in my sister's hair. So I'm just starting by parting off a section in the front towards the side where she wants her hair to fall. And um, if you don't know how to braid this may not be the video for you because it's not a tutorial on how to braid. I'm just giving you an idea of a nice cute simple braided updo you can get done in your hair. I've done this style in my hair by myself in the past but I haven't braided my own hair going up in a while so you know I have to practice again to make sure I can still do it but um anyways so I'm moisturizing her hair with the Camille Rose Curl Love Moisturizing Milk just to add some moisture back in her hair because I am starting on dry stretched hair and um, throughout the video you'll see my fingers start to turn red obviously the dye in her hair is bleeding <laughs> but um, I'm just putting some oil on her scalp make sure you don't want her scalp to look dry and I'm parting the first section for my first braid in a slant going up and then I'm just going to use some Eco Styler Jamaican black cast oil gel to you know make sure her edges are laid down and there's no flyaways so that the braid can come out as neat as possible i am no professional braider however i have been braiding since i was about eight years old i learned i learned how to braid in my hair first so i'm pretty decent when it comes to braiding natural hair but your girl cannot braid weave and do no feed in braids and you know all the extra stuff that these professional braiders do nowadays but you know i can i can do my little thing when it comes to braiding natural hair anyway so i am twisting the end of the um, braid i am not braiding it all the way to the end i'm twisting the end because i will be doing a little twist out in the front and i want it to blend into the front of the hair so again you're just going to basically follow the pattern all the way around parting each section at a slant kind of curvy and laying the edges down so that the braid can come out as neat as possible and i know this video is speed up but you want to take your time and make sure that the braid come out very neat because in my opinion that's what makes a style pop is the neatness of the braid and not so much the design because you can have an extravagant design but your braids look sloppy and slack and it makes your hairstyle look whack so you know these are just plain straight braids but um the neater the braids the better the hairstyle will look and i'm just gonna continue this all up. i'm just gonna continue this around her hair until um all of the hair in the back is braided up. Thumbs up if you would like to see me attempt this style in my own hair. It's been a while since I braided my own hair, but um, I think I could still do it.
also easier to um, braid once the section is thoroughly detangled so you want to make sure that your sections are extremely um, you want to make sure that your section has no knots and tangles and that way you'll be able to braid the hair um, easier and come out with a neater braid is done I'm moving on to the front and I'm using the Camille Rose almond twisting butter to do the twist to prep for a twist out and you know this is pretty self-explanatory just using a little bit of the product on each section and twisting it down to the end and twirling the ends I'm doing the twist this small because I want her to be able to wear her hair out while she goes to work while the um, twist dries so I'm trying to make it as neat as possible so you know she don't have no big ugly twist in the front of her hair while she while the twists are drying is how it looks after putting in all the twists and this is kind of like 2001 because I think this is kind of cute as well so you can wear your hair if you don't want to wear it out you can wear it with the twist in the front and you know just put some hair accessories around however now that her hair is dry I am unraveling the twist so that you know she can have her little curly a curly twist out in the front and you want to take your time when unraveling your twist to avoid too much frizz and just to keep the curls so even though um, it looks like I'm being rough I'm, I'm really not so this is how it looks after unraveling all of the twists and fluffing I think it came out pretty good and as you can see by the look on her face she loves her style I hope you guys enjoyed this video and give it a thumbs up if you would like to see more videos like this don't forget to like comment and subscribe hit that bell so that you're notified every time I upload a video and thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys, well, you'll see me in my next video. Shout out to Darda for letting me do her hair. <laughs>